Now, on the 14th of April this year, Elon Musk first offered to buy Twitter. Today, he has completed the acquisition of the microblogging website, but the journey between has been no less than a roller coaster ride. Just after the announcement of the $44 billion bid, questions were raised on how Musk will pay for this deal. Yes, he is the richest man in the world, but even he was looking in a tight spot. Let's just break this down for you. At first, Musk hoped to use only $15 billion of his personal money. And around $12.5 billion of this were loans backed by his Tesla shares. Meaning, to get the money, he would not be forced to sell those shares. But ultimately, Musk abandoned that loan idea and put more money, more funding in cash. The 51-year-old ended up selling around $15.5 billion worth of Tesla shares. By the end of the deal, he personally coughed up about over actually $27 billion in cash. The total sum also includes $5.2 billion from investment groups and there were some large fund investments as well. The co-founder of Oracle also wrote off a $1 billion check. Qatar Holding draws money from the country's sovereign wealth fund. Even they stepped in to toss some capital into the deal. Saudi Arabian prince Lal owned nearly 35 million shares of Twitter. He transferred all of it to Musk's name. All of these people will become Twitter shareholders now. That leaves out about $13 billion. This is backed by bank loans. Top companies like Morgan Stanley, Bank of America, Japanese and French banks, they've extended help. Morgan Stanley alone contributed about $3.5 billion. It is important to understand here that these loans are guaranteed by Twitter and not Musk himself. So it will be the company's financial responsibility to pay them back. All of these developments come at a time when Twitter has so far struggled to generate profits. It has worked at an operating loss over the first half of 2022. So there's of course a lot of work needed here, not just on the features of the website, but also strong financial standing. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.